An end to the Israel-Hezbollah war is now within grasp, says U.S. Special Envoy Amos Hochstein in Beirut as he meets officials to discuss a truce plan largely endorsed by Lebanon. After meeting with Hezbollah-allied Parliament Speaker Nabi Berry, who led mediation on behalf of the group, Hochstein told reporters he saw a real opportunity to end the fighting. He also met Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Mikati and Army Chief Joseph Aoun. This is a moment of decision-making. I'm here in Beirut to facilitate that decision, but it's ultimately the decision of the parties to reach a conclusion to this conflict. It is now within our grasp. Lebanese Parliament Speaker Nabi Berry said the situation is good in principle, adding that his team and U.S. representatives still had some technical details to settle. The U.S. State Department also said an agreement to end the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah was within reach, as I mentioned earlier as well. Listen to this. Special Envoy Amos Hochstein was in Beirut today, uh, meeting with the Speaker of the Lebanese Parliament. Um, he gave a press statement after that where he made clear that um, we have made significant progress and um, that an agreement is within reach, but it's going to take decisions by uh, both parties, by both Israel and Lebanon, to actually get an agreement, and that's what we're going to continue to push for. Meanwhile, Hezbollah said it fired guided missiles at Israeli forces as they attempted to evacuate wounded soldiers in southern Lebanon. The pro-Iranian group in a statement said it wounded Israeli soldiers in a missile attack in the border town of Markaba before firing a second one at an infantry unit that came to remove the wounded. Hezbollah said it then targeted with it was then targeted with another guided missile, a third infantry unit that came to try to recover the dead and wounded. The Israeli army said that a soldier was killed in southern Lebanon. 30-year-old IDF reservist from Jerusalem Sergeant First Class Omer Geldor was killed during combat. He was from the Golani Brigade's logistics unit. Three other Israeli soldiers were wounded in the conflict. Total 49 IDF soldiers have lost their lives in Lebanon since the start of ground operations. Furthermore, the Israeli army accused Hezbollah militant group of firing on two United Nations peacekeeping bases in Lebanon on Tuesday. An army statement said Hezbollah fired a number of rockets at a UN base in the southern village of Shama, while a Hezbollah rocket had hit another UN position in Ramia where four United Nations peacekeepers were wounded. I remain concerned about ongoing hostilities between Hezbollah and the Israeli Defense Forces. Unified peacekeepers report continued clashes, exchange of fire, as well as airstrikes. Again today, and I'm coming to the incident that we registered today, Unified reports three separate incidents impacting peacekeepers in southern Lebanon. Italy's defense ministry said that the Hezbollah group staged an attack on a UN peacekeeping base in Lebanon's Shama that it initially blamed on Israel. Earlier, Defense Minister Crossetto had accused Israeli forces for the attack, but a defense ministry source later said that Crossetto only had partial information when he spoke. 